And here we go. So, uh, in yesterday's game, Lamar Jackson against the Broncos, he was in there for a short amount of time. Um, got sacked a couple of times, but on the last sack, the, the last sack was the one that took him out uh, for the game. Um, that ended his game, uh, and that put Tyler Huntley in. Lamar Jackson, he went to the medical tent, uh, and then from the medical tent, he went to the locker room. They showed the video of him walking up the steps on the way to the locker room. Uh, it didn't look too good. Uh, it looked like he was in uh, he was in some significant pain. Um, and, I mean, it just uh, we're just in the dark right now uh, when it comes to Lamar Jackson's injury and really the severity of the Lamar Jackson injury. But the Ravens, with this signing, in my opinion, they shed a little bit of light uh, on Lamar Jackson's injury. The uh, reason I say that is because I feel like if Lamar Jackson's injury um, if it was not significant and at least not significant enough to keep him out of any games, then they would just keep everything as is. Tyler Huntley uh, would be the quarterback. And also they still got uh, Anthony Brown on a practice squad. So they would have just continued rolling with those two. Because um, obviously when one person on the depth chart is out, you have other people that move up and they step up in that absence of the uh, previous person ahead of them. Uh, but with them actually signing uh, Brett Huntley, uh, this leads me to believe that Lamar Jackson definitely won't play against the Steelers. Definitely won't play against the Steelers. Uh, beyond that, we'll see. But just based off of this signing alone, I think really for this week, it's really the only week that we can really determine anything. Of course, John Harbaugh, he's going to have his presser later on uh, going over everything. And you know that's probably going to be like the first question that he gets asked. Unless he already addresses it, because, uh, you know, he comes out with his opening statements and whatnot, and then he asks for questions. But I'm sure um, he will bring up Lamar Jackson's injury because amidst everything that happened yesterday and what was a uh, just a very interesting game, uh, a lot of different pieces moving and whatnot. I'm sure John Harbaugh will be asked about Greg Roman. He'll be asked about Lamar Jackson's injury. He'll be asked about a lot of that stuff. Um, but Lamar Jackson's injury is probably the biggest uh, storyline from the game yesterday what's going on what's going to happen how long is he going to be out for what is the exact injury but um we'll uh we'll wait and see what Harbaugh says uh in a couple of hours when it comes to that um but Brett Huntley he's somebody that is familiar with the Ravens of course he was with uh the Ravens this offseason when they had their four quarterbacks um again Lamar Tyler Huntley Brett Huntley uh, and Anthony Brown, um, and he, it was no surprise that he didn't get kept, uh, I don't think anybody expected him to be retained by the Ravens uh, when it came down to cut down, and the Ravens, they retained the quarterbacks exactly how we thought they were going to retain the quarterbacks, we obviously knew they were keeping Lamar and Tyler Huntley, they were going to be on the active roster, and we, a lot of us figured that Anthony Brown, he was going to be the one on the practice squad, and they were going to cut Brett Huntley, and that's exactly uh, how things went down. Uh, but now with them bringing him back as somebody that's familiar, I'm surprised they didn't bring back Kenji Baha, uh, unless he's somewhere else right now. But I'm, I'm surprised they didn't bring him back because, you know, with him, they will sign him, then cut him, then sign him, then cut him, then sign him, then cut him, then sign him, then cut him. You already know how it went. Um, but, yeah, this is uh, not good news for Lamar this week, but hopefully, hopefully uh, beyond this week, since uh, Lamar is probably going to be out, uh, but beyond this week, hopefully – the Ravens can get good news uh, when it comes to Lamar Jackson. Uh, so it'll be Tyler Huntley again. Well, again, my opinion, I think, because nothing's official yet, but it's looking like uh, it's going to be Tyler Huntley again uh, versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it was a tough game last year. Uh, last year, remember week uh, week 18, um, the last game of the season, they came very close. There was some missed opportunities here and there. There was some drops here and there. There was just, they came close. It was a tough game, um, but they just couldn't quite finish. It's going to be very interesting to see. I mean, it was very interesting to see uh, the difference in the way the offense was called um, for Tyler Huntley yesterday. It's going to be very interesting to see now a, a full week of preparation for Tyler Huntley as a starter and how they call the offense for him uh, knowing that he's going to most likely knowing that he's going to be starting uh, from the start to finish and he's he won't be the backup anymore. Uh, so just pay attention to that. I'm sure a lot of y'all caught wind of the snap counts uh, from yesterday and just the difference uh, with the snap counts with the personnel, especially with Pat Ricard. That's probably the one that stood out the most. But 
anyway, we we will talk about all that later on. Uh, so yeah, expect um Tyler Huntley to be the starter this week against Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh. Um, so that should be a uh, interesting game. Now again, like I say with backups, backups, uh, backup QBs, they they I think they can be more lax, um, and they can be more riskier. Take they take more risk because they don't have anything to lose. They don't have anything to lose. Not like Tyler Huntley is going to be the long term starter or at least this year for the Baltimore Ravens. Um, so it's we got nothing to lose, but the season is still like alive, which is a beautiful thing. The Ravens are sitting at uh, eight and four right now. Um, of course, they could have had a much better record. Also, could have had a much worse record. But for the who the Ravens are, uh, for what their issues are, I uh, I'll, I'll take eight and four. I I I, I will certainly take it for who these Baltimore Ravens are. Uh, but yeah, man. So Hunley this week look like Hunley gonna be up, and uh, and Hunley uh, will be on the team as well uh, in that supportive role. So we'll see how it goes. Same, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like Lamar Jackson, hopefully will not be too much longer beyond this week. We out.